Good evening everyone and a welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Mawahib. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be testing out Cozy Hour Fragrance or your Scent Throw. Now, I have two candles to test in this video, but I did want to test the Wax Melt Scent Throw originally, the ones that I made in my previous video, but I actually misplaced them, but I just cannot remember where I put it. I remember like, uh, like taking all the wax melts off and putting it in a little pouch so I don't lose them. And then I put it on the kitchen counter and then after that the next day I just couldn't find it and I tried to look for it everywhere I just can't find it but um, if I do find the wax melt I am going to be making a separate video for that because I did mention that I did want to test the scent throw for it so I can do that for you guys in another video when I find it if not I'll just repurchase the fragrance oils and then I'll redo the wax melts and then I can do another video for you guys so I do apologize that the wax melts are not going to be tested in this video instead I'm going to be testing the fragrance oils of two candles so I hope that is okay with you guys also guys I would love to share how I'm going to run this video so I'm basically going to be testing test burning both of the candles for four hours but I'm going to report back to you guys every single hour and I also have this sheet of paper to keep me in track of every single hour and how good the scent throw is but before I get into this video please do hit the subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post so with that being said let's just get straight into it Alright guys, the first candle that I'm going to be burning for this video is the green tea and Bartok clove and amber. So this candle I'm actually going to burn it in my bedroom and the other candle I'm actually going to be burning it downstairs in the hallway. So let me just turn that candle on and then I'm going to put it on the desk. There we go. Turned on. I'm going to pop that onto my desk guys. And then I'm going to go downstairs and then turn on the other one. I thought I wanted to do the um, second candle in the hallway, but instead I just decided to do it in the kitchen. So I have the candle right here behind me and I'm going to turn that on. Between the first candle and the second candle is about five minutes. So the first candle is already burning. So let's burn the second candle now. And by the way, this is red roses and oud. So I cannot wait for that one actually. So I'm going to have that burning over there and by the way all the windows are closed so nothing will be flying around so everything is safe. Okay, so I'm in another bedroom right now and I thought I'd just speak to you guys a little bit about the Cozy Owl fragrance oils while the candles are burning inside and don't worry in the next I think just over half an hour I thought I had my watch on my hand but I don't. So in the next just over about 35 minutes we'll go check on the candle that's in my bedroom and in about 40 minutes I'll check the candle in the kitchen. So I'm going to look down on my phone and tell you a bit about Cozy Owls fragrance oils. So they are vegan friendly, they are cruelty free, they are phthalates free, paraben and silicone free and PEG free. So they're trying to make the fragrance oils as natural as possible and take out all the chemicals out of it but it's not a natural fragrance oil. So if you guys want to know all these terms um, that I just said I'm going to pop a link in the description down below so you guys can um, look into it even more to understand what these chemicals are. By the way, the candles are not completely left unattended. When you do burn candles, please don't leave it completely unattended. Um, myself and my brother up, are here upstairs checking on the candle that's burning in my bedroom. And then my sister and my mom are downstairs checking the uh, kitchen candle. Uh, but also, I just thought it's better for me to film in this bedroom because if I'm going to film the clip that I'm filming right now in my bedroom, I'm going to be smelling all the, all the fragrance oil and then I'm not going to be able to give you an accurate rating of the scent throw. So it's better for me to, to go into the... Um, bedroom with a fresh nose um, but also I would love to say that I added the fragrance oil for the CB advanced wax at 60 degrees Celsius and again I use the CB advanced wax and I'm using cotton wicks and I'm also uh, added the fragrance oils at 10% I'm not going to go into so much details about the wax and the wick and stuff like that today we're just going to solely focus on the scent throw of Cozy Owl fragrance oils while I'm sitting down here waiting for my candles um, to burn and for me to go and see them I would just love to take the opportunity and say thank you so much to every single one of you who have commented thank you every to every single one of you who have subscribed and thank you to everyone who are watching my videos and who have come across my videos I would also love to say when you guys comment on my videos like it just makes me so happy I just can't believe that I'm, co I'm communicating with you guys and I love that so so much whether like you guys comment are either about a supplier or a candle or wax and I love seeing type of comments like that or just a general comment of like a heart or something 
I love that so much so thank you thank you guys for commenting on my comment section down below I really really like that if you guys would love any videos or would love to see me do any videos for you whether it's candle related or not then pop them in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to make it happen or actually I will make it happen because you guys are just my favorite and um, we're also we are so close to like 120 subscribers I can't believe it so thank you thank you so so much we're growing so well together and I hope we can create this as a positive space where we can just help each other out educate one another and just like enjoy the space that I'm giving you right here so please don't don't be shy to comment in the comment section down below and keep your comments coming because I love waking up to them I love seeing them and just thank you so much in general right, guys so I um, walked in straight into this bedroom and I would say the hot throw for the first hour burn is about five like it's not strong i wouldn't i wouldn't even go nowhere near six like it's just five it's very soft it's very subtle i don't feel like if i was to put this downstairs in the hallway you wouldn't be able to smell it so um fingers crossed maybe the um one downstairs would have a stronger center but honestly with the look judging by the way the center is for um this scandal um i don't think it's going to be as strong downstairs but we can see and by the way i'm not going to show my face on the camera when i go back downstairs because i have to put you guys back on the tripod and it takes me about 10 minutes to like get everything sorted out so i'm just going to speak over the camera and then i'll come back to you guys in this bedroom but i'll definitely give the um the scandal about a five on the first hour burn and i'm gonna just pop that onto my piece of paper just so i don't forget and let me show you guys as well up close the candle in terms of like the wicking and stuff like that i know i said we're not gonna go into details about that but i still want to show you so here's the candle after one hour burn it's still not the wax still didn't fully melt towards the um end of the jar but that's okay we're not focusing on that today um but yeah i just thought i'd show you the candle and how it looks like all right guys so here is the um second candle which is red roses and oud um the wick for this one is way too small like i don't think it's going to come up on camera one second let me try yeah can you guys see that that's not reaching towards the end of the um jar but um i definitely think i would give it about a one because one the wick is smaller and it's in the kitchen and the kitchen is a pretty huge space so um i definitely would give it a one in terms of the center for that one but guys remember when you're testing out fragrances the wick matters the wax you're using matters and the amount and when you poured your fragrance all your matters so don't just judge it off the bat like you know it's a bad um fragrance oil honestly when you hover over it it smells really really nice the combination of red roses and oud is actually really nice if i only had a bigger wick maybe it would have it would have maybe scented about a five maybe even a six but yeah i'll see you back upstairs in a little bit i am back upstairs i'm loving the vibe of just a burning candle me talking to you through here and just the vibe is so chilled i love it but getting back to our topic the candle downstairs has a smaller wick so that is one of the reasons why my fragrance oil uh, my fragrance oil my hot throw may not be as strong as the one that i have in my bedroom so the one in my bedroom i believe this is the wick eco 14 and the one downstairs is eco 10 so the reason why uh, my candle upstairs has a better center than the one downstairs because it's a, it is a bigger wick but also it depends on testing like for example some fragrance oils can burn off if you're putting it at too much of a hot temperature or maybe the wick is just too small or maybe the uh, fragrance oils have not are not mixed enough with the wax so please when you do watch this video don't just think you know oh i'm not gonna buy this fragrance oil because um i have said the hot throw is not strong enough my testing may be different than yours you can test the exact same fragrance oil with a different wig different type of wax and get a stronger center than what i am now just remember that this is a testing process this is not the exact wick that i use for this jar and i haven't also made up my mind up with the wax that i want to use for the future if i ever when i do launch my candle line or i'm not going to talk too much about that but you guys get what i mean so please make sure you just do your own testing and judge off of that but i just thought i'd make this video just for, for you guys to have an idea of how i test the scent throw of cozy owl fragrance oils for this for the sake of this video
don't forget to always keep on track of the works that you're using your the jars that you're using the wax that you're using and the fragrance oil and at one what temperature you poured what temperature you mixed and um just keep on track of everything basically because sometimes you may lose track which is very normal guys we're human we're gonna forget what we tested so keep everything in a paper or a word document online or something like that just so you guys know what you've tested and uh, i'll see you guys in a bit in about an hour or so to um test the scent throw of the second hour burn so it's been just about over two hours since my candles have been burning and as soon as i walked into my bedroom literally my bedroom smells amazing and i would definitely rate the hot throw a seven the hot throw uh, on the second hour burn is way stronger than my first hour burn however i would love my my hot throw for my first hour burn to be a seven than a five um, I just I just think the first hour burn of the candle is the most important so um, yeah but the second hour burn of this candle is definitely a seven in terms of the hot throw and let me just show you guys up close my candle and stuff like that I just really want to show you my candle so let me show you guys okay so here is my candle and as you guys can see like the wax is like almost completely melted around the um, diameter of my um, container the flame is a little too high I think the flame is way too high um, but yeah this is how it looks like okay so right now let's just go straight downstairs literally guys I thought this video was gonna be easier than what I thought it would be like I'm having to go upstairs and downstairs up to upstairs and downstairs I just didn't want to mix two candles in the same area so I thought if I separate both candles it makes more sense or else my nose is gonna get confused so anyway let's get just go downstairs <laughs> Here is my second candle and the flame is way too high and it keeps flickering and also the wick is way too small. I would have expected the um, wax to be completely melted off uh, by the second hour burn so the wick is way too small. And by the way my mom started cooking in the kitchen so I can't really report back on the scent throw or the hot throw for this one. So we're going to leave this one out of this video guys. It's just went right out of plan but I um, do apologize. We'll just keep um, getting track of the one upstairs but this is how it looks like I'm gonna quickly jump on here and speak to you guys for literally just like 30 seconds or a minute and just say I'm not I'm no longer going to test the hot throw of the candle downstairs like I mentioned in my previous clip my mom started cooking and all I can smell is the lovely onions by the way I love the smell of onions I love onions but anyway I'm not gonna do it downstairs because then it's not gonna be an accurate um, rating of the hot throw so we're just gonna stick to the one that's in my bedroom I'm gonna leave my bedroom right now and come back to you guys in one hour see you guys in a bit oh hello guys I am back so um, I as soon as I walked in guys literally my whole room smells of the fragrance oil um, so if you guys forgot what I'm burning I'm burning green tea and and bow to clove and amber by the way there are two fragrance oils if you guys remember from my previous um, YouTube video I used two um, fragrance oils because um, I bought a lot of the 10 milliliters um, tester bottles from cozy hour so that's why I've been mixing two fragrance oils just to make up the amount of um, grams that I need for the amount of wax that I've used so um, I would say the hot th the hot throw for my candle in my bedroom is a hundred percent a good nine so my bedroom I would say it's fairly big um, I would love to test this candle in my second burn for it I would love to test it downstairs and see if it would actually give off as much of a strong throw as it is in my bedroom now bear in mind I have the doors closed I have the windows closed so it's, it's a closed bedroom so maybe that's why I would um, that's why it fills up the room but I would love also to burn a candle that fills up the entire house you know like you know as soon as you walk in or when you go upstairs and you go in downstairs and you can smell the candle I would love a candle like that but for now I think Honestly, I don't think it would fill up downstairs at all. I really don't think it, guys. If you, I really need to show you that flame. Look at that flame. I have to show you that flame. One second. Look at that flame. This is way too high. Like I said, everything's closed, and look at how much it's flickering. The wick is way too big. Look at that, guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's get back. So. 
like I mentioned before, I got distracted by the high flame of my candle. Um, I would love to test this. Uh, I would love to burn test the candle downstairs and see if it would give off the hot throw that it does in my bedroom. But please guys, if you do want to like test out the center of the candles, try them in different bedrooms and see how they work out for you. And also my strong, like for example, right now, I think that my candle throw is, uh, my hot throw, sorry, is a nine. For you guys, it, for someone else, it, a nine may not be as strong as they would like. So also come, goes back to personal preferences as well. So bear that in mind, don't make a decision off of this video. Please do buy and test and see what works for you. Um, I do, I would love to also test out different fragrance oils from different companies. I've only actually tested Cozy Owl and Wooden Wood Co. And I normally work with essential oils as well. You guys know I love essential oil candle. And I'm actually going to test one, um, an essential oil candle tomorrow. But um, right now I'm gonna go outside because I'm gonna come back in about an hour and that would be the last clip before I end the video all right guys I'll see you guys in a bit all right I am back it's literally 9 p.m. and I'm so so sleepy I'm not gonna lie I can't wait to have like a cup of tea and get into my PJs but um, the hot throw of the candle at hour number four is actually as good as hour number three so I would still give it a nine and don't worry I didn't leave the candle unattended I left the door open and um, so I can keep an eye on it so don't worry about that guys because the flame is really high so when the flame is that high it's, it's actually really dangerous so be careful when you're candle testing always always keep an eye out on the candle do not leave it completely unattended and if you do want to go out please don't forget to switch off your candle or uh, switch your candles off and stuff like that okay but um yeah i think that is it for today's video i kind of lost my words and i didn't know what to say but i think that's the end of today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did honestly like this video was a bit different i didn't know it was going to take me that long but i really enjoyed um, filming it for you guys if you feel like i've missed out on anything or if you guys would like to know a little bit more about how i test my fragrance uh, my fragrances and the hot throw of my candle then please pop them in the comment section down below any video suggestions again pop them in the comment section down below and i'm more than happy to help you guys out so with that being said i'm gonna say please do hit that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up don't forget to comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and please don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post so with that being said have a lovely Sunday have a great week and I'll see you very soon bye bye guys I know I just closed out the video but like guys like please just look at this candle look at this look at this wick flickering it's so high by the way guys this is a dangerous flame so please be careful when you're testing your own candles at home see you guys soon